It has been three years since a 5.7 magnitude earthquake rocked much of northern Utah, you probably remember. The Utah Geological Survey dug a long trench late last summer to study two faults on the west side of the Salt Lake Valley. Two of the lead geologists spoke with Fox 13 News anchor Max Roth today for this in-depth look. The geologists study thousands, even millions of years of evidence, but these geologists have been rushing to get the evidence available in the few places yet to be developed above these faults. We're looking at three dimensions, right? Last summer, 2022, geologists Adam Hiscock and Emily Kleber helped lead the team digging this trench near Indiana Avenue on Salt Lake City's west side. One of very few undeveloped pieces of land over a fault in the Salt Lake Valley. Because we have to have a scarp, which is the surface expression of the fault, that hasn't been modified. So, so it, you, it's almost a race against time for you guys, right? It, exactly. Um, in fact, the Airport East Trench that we, we did the field work for that in 2015, that site is gone now. Utah's major mountain valleys are striped with faults. So we're looking at a fault map um, of the Northern Salt Lake and Central Salt Lake valleys. Um, all of the lines, um, so there's orange lines here, as well as green and black lines along the range front. These are indicating where geologists uh, see evidence of past earthquakes that have ruptured the surface. The Indiana Avenue Trench allowed them to see fault activity for the last 15,000 years, give or take. Layers of soil revealing how the ground has moved. So this land went down, this land went up, and you can see that by the striations of the different zones kind exactly. of misaligned. Yeah, and these are kind of mapped out on here, like this uh, This is the Gilbert deposit, and you can see it's as it's coming along, this side of the figure is east mm -hmm. to west, it's faulted down, mm -hmm. and on the scale on this, that's about the offset on there is probably five to six centimeters. Their work complements extensive study of the 5.7 magnitude 2020 magna earthquake, illustrating the three-dimensional reality of faults, which are far more than a line on the surface. This big red dot down here was the main shock, and then all the smaller dots are aftershocks. But what you're saying is, underneath all of these valleys, a fault over here several kilometers or miles underground mm -hmm. meets the other faults. And that's this, after the, the Magna earthquake was really valuable to us and seismologists at the University of Utah, because we collected, it was really well studied with sensors in the valley mm -hmm. that picked up all the data from all these earthquakes. Yeah. And from that data, we can better model what these faults look like under the valley. Those connected faults mean when one fault moves, others may follow. More often than not, what we found is that the Wasatch Fault Zone can um, trigger earthquakes on the West Valley Fault Zone. The geologists here are deepening their knowledge of our local faults, but their work helps us all understand where we live. So what we see above the surface in the shape of our valleys, well, we see the mountains sloping west from the east and the other mountains sloping east from the west and underground, the faults are doing the same thing, and they're meeting each other far below the surface. In studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.